We are at GalaxyCon 2023 here in Raleigh, North Carolina. The panels, the Q&As here are gonna be awesome. Karen Gillian, Nebula from um, The Avengers is here. Uh, we got the Vampire Diaries guys here. It's going to be great. Let's go check it out. and then uh, for a while we were doing it on the computer. If anyone's yes. seen the Galaxy Con Lives, they're on YouTube. Several of this young lady right here. Absolutely <laughs> wonderful. Nice to be in person. Yeah, I know. Glad to see you in the end. So, um, whenever I have a solo guest like yourself, I uh, always open up with this. What drew you to it? <gasps> oh, we're going in. Yeah. Deep, deep, immediately. Um, oh gosh, there's so many things. I think I remember being a really young kid in the top of Scotland, that's where I'm from, Inverness, known for the Loch Ness Monster, I really said. <laughs> Not very many actors from that part of the world, so I didn't really like have like an example from my area that had done it, but I was just like really interested in all things performance related, like if it was a dance or a song or a piece of acting, I was just like so drawn to it, and I don't know why, just a natural thing. Um, and then I think like there was also this element of acting of like being able to escape myself for a little while, which feels quite nice. I guess it's similar, like you guys are putting on costumes for the weekend and you kind of feel like you can be a little bit different. And so, so I'm more of a bourbon drinker myself, um, but um, I would love to hear a recommendation for a scotch from a Scott. Preferably not too peaty. I don't like Lafraig too heavy. Oh, me neither. I don't like a peaty whiskey. Um, I'm gonna go Tomatin, 18 year old, and that's um, a distillery that's really near where I grew up, and I used to go there on like school trips and stuff. Which, in hindsight, <laughs> <laughs> definitely not for you to bring kids, but that's where we went. <laughs> All right, now what's a bourbon you would recommend to us? Uh, Woodford Reserve. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have them. Oh, there you go. Great one, thank you. And, like, we'd get pampered. She had, like, a diffuser blowing, like, nice air out that smelled good. And they were putting rose water on her face and I felt like I was being operated on. <laughs> I was like, this isn't fair. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> that's my story. There you go, there you go. All right, so what did you think of the Karen Gillian Q&A? It was really cool, yeah. It was really cool to see her in person. She is awesome. She is down to earth. It was, it was super fun just listening to her answer all those questions. So yeah, she is great.
highways. So he was like a metal worker sort of, but he had this gigantic shop that he owned. And then the next the, a couple of houses down was a people a guy who made sails for sailboats. So I went to both of them and gave them the instructions. And the mail the, the sailboat guy made me a mail bag, and the uh, the the I brought it to the um, to the metal worker to do some other stuff, and. Uh, I suddenly had the mailbag trick, and with my mom, I rehearsed being pushed into the pool, handcuffed with, and chained, and escaped from it. And then I had the um, uh, two cops from Denny's come to my house, my backyard, and we had live. I had live at five there, and they. Um, this is genius. Swear to God, and, and I did this all myself too. By the way, nobody helped me. And um, I, they, they, the cops put the handcuffs on me, and then I had my own shackles as well. And uh, and I don't know if you know this about Houdini, but I'm going to tell you a little something that's pretty secret. So if you can all keep a secret, it would be great. <laughs> so the the escape artists back in the day, their trick was they would take their the most difficult cuffs and put them on. Uh, first or last, depending on how you wanted, what you thought was going to fool them. So, so the easy cuffs to get out of went on the small of your wrist, and the harder the cuffs were to get out, they would go up your forearm. And the bigger your forearms were, that meant that when you got the other ones off, the other ones would just slide off. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that, actually. <laughs> I've been singing pinky, pinky. Trust me, it's going to be all right. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm better now, I'm better. No, okay, so you, you found a world that you could kind of thrive in with comics. Uh, did you have any particular favorites? Oh, yeah. Um, I can't talk about them, but yeah. Okay, fair game, fair game. Fair game. It's good to know. I, I guess I, I'm not, I don't, I don't have anything to do with Swamp Thing, so Swamp Thing is one of my favorites. Yeah. Classic, absolutely classic. But that was later, later in life, it was one of my favorites. Like Alan Moore? Alan Moore. So, but that was, I was already in my 30s or something. Stairs. Maybe even older. But, um, can I talk about? Oh, Batman is one of mine. Um, and then I can't talk about it. <laughs> that's You know this isn't for um, Supernatural, right? This is the vampire. They wish. They wish. 
Guys, thank you for the love, man. What would you say is the nerdiest thing about you guys? You have Step and Salvatore underwear on, so that's pretty, <laughs> yeah, pretty nerdy. But I cut the, like, the cheek parts out, so yeah. I have, like, a thong. Yeah. Right. So it's just these two eyes, and then, right, yeah. Jeez, TMI. It's uh, the nerdiest thing about, um, about you, Zach. I like bees? Yeah. Pretty awesome and nerdy. I watch, now, I, I watch Star Trek reruns uh, weekly. That's pretty nerdy. You're, you're also a watch nerd. And watch nerd. Yeah, you like geek, over, you geek out over nerd. You're, you're like an uh, RV nerd. I am an RV nerd. Yeah, kind of like a farmer nerd. Yeah, Zach and I have like that kind of... Salvatore farm. brothers should have died together, right? Like, let the town go back to being like, like team human, you know? And uh, we had a very specific way we wanted it to happen. And, uh, I, you know, but yeah, I, w I would like him nice. I would go back and uh, I would change a couple of things. Definitely stop World War II and then change the Vampire Diaries. Yeah, it's very thoughtful. And Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And, like, change a couple of things. A couple of things. Hey, what's your favorite time period, guys? We just finished up the Saturday here at GalaxyCon. What are your thoughts? I had a really good time. I'm a big fan of the Vampire Diaries, so I really like the Vampire Diaries panel. Every GalaxyCon's a little bit different. This one was more focused for us on the Q&As. The Q&As at this GalaxyCon were incredible. We saw Karen Gillian, Vincent D'Onofrio, and then we saw the, the characters from the Vampire Diaries, and they were awesome. The, and and the, autograph, the autograph sessions were packed. Really cool. yeah. This Saturday was packed here at GalaxyCon, so, um, just an awesome experience. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. Until next time.